Marsh and that Carly and Mike and I don't know, whatever his name is, the Australian guy, you know, did their share. But come on, be honest with yourself. And am I the reason? Am I, am I really the reason why you're not popping a bottle of champagne and settling back on a bearskin rug? Please tell me you don't have a bearskin rug. No, but I think my brother does. I'll call you when I get back to Oakdale. And you, don't think you're off the hook. Oh, not since I was born, Jack. Yeah. But like you said, you got issues. What? You're jealous. I'm, je I'm jealous? I'm jealous of je oh. He's got three kids that are... Real cute, I'll give you that. But he's also got a balloon mortgage and a really bad pension. You've been jealous of him your whole life. <clears throat> you, you watch way too many talk shows. You're just, you just can't stand the fact that he might be happy. That's sick. Happy? Ha ha okay, let me tell you something about my brother, all right? He's honest, he's responsible, he's smart, but happy, I don't think so. All right, because happy makes him scared. It's why he married Carly. It's why he's stuck in a dead-end job that takes him to the morgue once a week. And, and for some reason, I can't possibly begin to understand. He loves it. So don't blame me if he's not happy. You're jealous. Do I want his life? No. Do you want me to be completely honest with you? That would be a first, yeah. Yeah, I am jealous. Because I would give anything to have you look at me the way you look at him. <gasps> right. She's laughing at me. You're laughing. You're well, laughing I'm not me. that kook that just tried to kill us. Look, Lynn, her name is Lynn. Oh, Please. oh, that's what it takes for you to remember a woman's name? She has to hold a gun to your head? Katie, Katie, Katie. Yeah, whatever. I didn't just meet you in a bar. You know what you are? You're what they used to call a cad. Love them and leave them. No, I know what a cad is, but, you know, that was me once upon a time. And I know what you told your friend Lynn, that I changed you, but that's because you were scared of getting killed. Let's not pretend it's Look, true. I don't know if you changed me, but I am, I am definitely different, Katie. Look, I turned down Vienna. Who was engaged to my best friend? Well, that's, that was after he dumped her at the altar, okay? She was technically a free woman. You know, I'm, I, but I could tell that she was still in love with him. And I said no. So you've grown up a little bit. Well, the, the point is... That you say whatever you want to get whatever you want. And I want you. Okay, there I've said it. I want and you. And what am I supposed to do with that, Brad? Of course you want me. You want everything in a skirt. No. Just you. Because I'm safe. Because you know I won't take you seriously. Maybe you should. One night stand, especially not yours. Who said one night stand? I'm not the fling kind of girl, Brad, okay? I've been married and divorced twice. I need an adult relationship, and that is definitely not you. That's not fair. That's not, look, just because I haven't made the same mistakes that you have, you know, I've had my heart broken once or twice. I've got a great job. i got friends. i got family. Oh, name one. Well, I'm, you know, you, and I think if you ask her, Vienna. The two women you haven't slept with in Oakdale. Well, Vienna was a potential fling, but, I mean, you, you're different. You are the whole package. And next you're going to tell me that certainty like this comes but once in a lifetime. Oh, certainty? All of a sudden you won't even give me the time of day. Because look what you just did to me and your brother. My brother, okay, who I love, don't get me wrong, is a small town guy. And he's still hanging on to the dream that the naughty blonde who used him as a doormat is going to come to her senses and come back to him. And what's your dream, Brad? To bed every woman in every town in this entire country? You're a lying, self-centered, immature jerk. Self-centered? And let me tell you something. You just lost one of your two best friends. I am through. Why? Why? Because you can't face the truth about my brother? That's why. Because you would say something like that about him to me, of all people. You know how hard this has been for both me and Jack, but you could... Ugh, forget it. You, just, you don't understand. I just don't want you near me ever again. You know what? I don't think Kim's going to go for that. Well, too bad. Well, yeah, fine. We'll work together, but that's it. Well, it's not just about work. It's about our success. Kim's bottom line, you know? It depends upon our chemistry. Which stems from me hating you, which after what you've just pulled, shouldn't be too hard. Katie. Katie, you go chasing after my brother. You're going to regret it. I'm telling you, because he's never, and I mean never, going to give up Carly. I'd buckle up if I were you. We're about to take off. And so I told Brad, that's it. I mean, we still have to work together, you know. 
But that's easy, because no matter how much I hate him, it still works. You don't hate him. He's infuriating. Well, it's Brad. Can we please stop talking about my brother now? Because, um... I know you're right. We haven't... I mean, we should, if you want to. But if you don't, we shouldn't, because I don't want to go through another one of those things where we can't even be friends because you were afraid to tell me that you didn't want this and I was afraid to ask Katie. because I didn't want to know. 